In the ever-evolving world of robotics, it's not every day that a breakthrough comes along that truly leaves the tech community buzzing with excitement. But when Unitree Robotics dropped the news about the latest upgrade to their G1 humanoid robot, they did just that. This remarkable leap in development has left experts and enthusiasts alike asking, how did they do it? And what does this mean for the future of robotics? In today's video, we're going to break down the latest updates to the Unitree G1 robot, explain the significance of its new capabilities, and dive into why its ability to achieve a jump distance height ratio of over one is such a big deal. If you're as fascinated by robots as we are, grab a coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive into this mind-blowing innovation. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of this groundbreaking update, let's take a step back and look at what the Unitree G1 robot is all about. The G1 is a humanoid robot designed by Unitree Robotics, a company known for its cutting-edge advancements in robotics technology. While Unitree first gained fame for its quadruped robots, like the Unitree Go-1 and Aliengo, the G1 is their bold leap into humanoid robotics. The G1 is not just a run-of-the-mill robot. It's engineered with a focus on agility, versatility, and balance, making it capable of performing a wide range of tasks that were previously reserved for the most advanced robots in the industry. Its design is sleek, with a focus on compactness and mobility, and it's loaded with sensors and AI capabilities that help it navigate complex environments with ease. All right, let's get straight to the headline feature the G1's ability to achieve a jump distance height ratio of over one. For those of you who might not be as familiar with the technical aspects, let's break down what this means in simpler terms. In robotics, the jump distance height ratio refers to how far a robot can jump horizontally compared to how high it can jump vertically. A ratio of over one indicates that the robot's horizontal leap is greater than its vertical jump height. This is a significant achievement because it demonstrates a level of agility and control that's typically very difficult for robots to attain. You might be thinking, okay, so it jumps far. What's the big deal? Well, this seemingly simple feat is actually a huge step forward in robotics engineering for several reasons. Enhanced mobility. Achieving a high jump distance height ratio means the G1 can cover more ground in a single movement. This is crucial for applications in uneven or unpredictable terrains where the ability to jump over obstacles or gaps is essential. Energy efficiency. Jumping further rather than higher also indicates that the robot's movements are more energy efficient. This could lead to longer operational times and less frequent charging, which is a game changer for robots deployed in search and rescue, space exploration, or long duration tasks. Improved control and balance. The ability to land with precision after a long jump is a testament to the G1's advanced stabilization and control systems. This isn't just about raw power. It's about a sophisticated understanding of motion, balance, and momentum. Achieving a jump distance height ratio of over one wasn't just a matter of tweaking a few settings or adding more power to the robot's legs. This breakthrough required a combination of hardware upgrades, software optimization, and a deep dive into the principles of biomechanics. The G1 robot's legs are powered by custom-designed actuators that provide a high torque-to-weight ratio, enabling the robot to generate the necessary force for powerful jumps. These actuators are designed to mimic the muscle movements of humans, allowing for quick and efficient bursts of power. Unitree has integrated advanced AI algorithms that predict and adapt to various movement scenarios in real time. These algorithms help the G1 make micro-adjustments to its posture, balance, and leg movements during each jump ensuring that it can maximize its horizontal distance without compromising stability. The G1 is constructed using a combination of lightweight materials that maintain structural integrity without adding unnecessary bulk. This allows the robot to achieve greater heights and distances without being weighed down. The implications of this update go far beyond the G1's impressive jump. This breakthrough in mobility could have a ripple effect on the entire robotics industry. Here's why. In scenarios where time is of the essence, like natural disasters, search and rescue missions, or hazardous environments, the ability to move quickly and efficiently is critical. The G1's new capabilities could enable it to traverse debris, leap over obstacles, and reach areas that were previously inaccessible to robots, making it a vital tool for first responders. A game changer in industrial automation. Imagine a humanoid robot that can move around a factory floor, jump over machinery, and navigate complex layouts with ease. 
the G1's jump capabilities open up new possibilities for industrial automation, where mobility and flexibility are key. Robots like the G1 could be used to handle high-speed tasks or even carry out maintenance in areas that are too dangerous for human workers. Space agencies like NASA and private companies like SpaceX are constantly looking for robots that can explore distant planets or moons. The G1's ability to handle unpredictable terrains by leaping over large distances could make it an ideal candidate for missions to Mars or other celestial bodies. Its mobility might allow it to cover more ground in less time, gathering data and samples from areas that would otherwise be difficult to reach. With so many robotics companies working on humanoid designs, you might be wondering how the Unitree G1 stacks up against its competitors. Let's take a quick look at how it measures up. Boston Dynamics Atlas While Atlas is known for its agility and parkour-like movements, the G1's focus on jump distance gives it an edge in terms of covering more horizontal space in one motion. Both robots are incredibly advanced, but the G1's new jump capabilities might give it a unique advantage in applications requiring speed and distance. Tesla's Optimus Tesla's Optimus robot is designed with a focus on utility and cost-effectiveness, rather than agility. While Optimus may excel in repetitive industrial tasks, the G1's jump distance height ratio positions it as a more versatile option for dynamic environments. Agility Robotics Digit Digit is a humanoid robot with a focus on mobility, but it has yet to demonstrate the same level of jumping ability as the G1. The G1's breakthrough in jump dynamics could potentially set a new benchmark for what mobility should look like in this field. Unitree Robotics isn't just stopping here. The G1's recent upgrade is just one step in a broader roadmap that aims to push the boundaries of what humanoid robots can do. Unitree is likely working on further enhancing the G1's AI capabilities, expanding its range of motion, and exploring new ways to make it even more autonomous. This leap forward is just the beginning, and it's exciting to think about what the G1 and future iterations could bring to the table. Whether it's more sophisticated movement patterns, increased battery life, or enhanced interaction capabilities, the G1 is clearly paving the way for a new era in robotics. So, in conclusion, the Unitree G1 robot's ability to achieve a jump distance height ratio of over one is more than just a cool trick. It's a glimpse into the future of robotics. This breakthrough represents a shift towards more agile, versatile, and intelligent machines capable of tackling challenges that were once thought to be out of reach. With its powerful hardware, advanced AI, and incredible mobility, the G1 is not just setting a new standard for humanoid robots, it's challenging the way we think about what robots can do. The possibilities for this technology are limitless, and we can't wait to see where Unitree Robotics takes it next. So, what do you think about the G1's latest achievement? Do you think this robot has the potential to revolutionize industries? Or is this just the beginning of what humanoid robots can do? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates on this incredible piece of technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.